Good morning. Today is May the 21st, 2011. This is Hurricane Cities with an update on the tropics for 2011. And actually, this is actually going to be a preview um, on what we expect for the hurricane season. Some of my predictions for the coastal regions of the continental U.S. We're going to have in-depth coverage of my reasoning behind this prediction on June 1st at 6 p.m. That will be on Ustream and our website, which is HurricaneCities.com. We're also going to record it on YouTube. Now, here is the predictions. We're actually going to have uh, more impact on the continental U.S. this year than we have in the past. But my predictions are lesser hurricanes this year, and I'll go over that with you right now. Uh, my predictions for the storms this year, I'm expecting around 16 to 18 named storms, and 9 uh, to 11 of those storms becoming hurricanes. Also, 4 to 6 of those hurricanes becoming major hurricanes, and about three or four of those major hurricanes affecting the continental U.S. So that's the bad news. The good news is that we're not going to have as many storms this year. And the reason why I'm thinking that we're going to have a more active season um, impact storms is because they're going to be a stronger ridge of high pressure over the Atlantic, also known as the Bermuda High. And as you can look at the color codes I have on the map, the red is showing high areas and the yellow is showing the moderate areas. The high areas, of course, is the Carolinas. And I think this is the number one hot spot uh, where uh, significant hurricanes and tracks of storms will take this year, take place on the Carolina coast right here in the central part of the Atlantic. Is my number one area concern. Number two area concern is the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico, uh, anywhere from Morgan City, Louisiana, over to Fort Walton Beach, I would say, the Florida Panhandle, is a area that is very concerning to me this year. Um, well, talk about that on June first. Another area, and it was a area that was impacted last year, was the southern Texas coast and northern Mexico, Mexico coastline is another region that's concerned in the west or eastern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula and around the Belize area in Central America. Other areas in the uh, Caribbean looks like around the northern Leeward Islands, also Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, and southern part of Cuba. Of course, we don't want to forget about the um, Jamaica area. That's another area that's going to be uh, impacted greatly this year. So it appears more of Caribbean storms than we've seen in the past due to the fact there's a large ridge and of course um, the El Nino pattern which we will go over with you on June the 1st. Just tune back in to HurricaneCities.com at 6 p.m. and also on Ustream. We're going to broadcast live on Ustream and we're going to have a guest to go over some of this with you to explain the details on setups and environments that's causing this particular and has a lot to do with uh, the El Nino factor and also some sea temperature factors. That's what we have for you today. We're just giving you a kind of a tease of what to expect for June the 1st. It looks like that the hurricane season is going to be an active one compared to the seasons in the past. Most of the storms are going to be land storms this year and not fish storms so we'll see how that works out and uh, keep you updated
throughout the hurricane season on our new website hurricanecities.com be sure to tune us in we're actually covering uh, tropical weather worldwide this year that's all we have for you this afternoon thanks for joining us at hurricanecities.com see you on June 1st at 6 p.m.